There's loads of creativity in science and I think it's, it's a bit of a myth that there isn't. I'm Heidi Gardner, I'm a research associate at the University of Aberdeen. I've lived in Aberdeen since 2010, undergraduate degree here, um, did my PhD here and now I live here. And I also run the small business science on a postcard. I'm so into being Dr Heidi Gardner. <laughs> uh, yeah, using that at any opportunity I can possibly get just to milk it because it was four years of, yeah, graft. So I use the doctor title all the time. <laughs> so Science on a Postcard started um, Basically, it was born out of rage. I was on a flight back from London City to Aberdeen. Um, the flight was delayed, as it usually is. Um, and then I was having this conversation with a guy who'd been on the red eye flight down in the morning. He said, oh, where have you been? What have you been uh, doing in London? Have you been here for work? And I said, yeah, I've been here uh, for a research meeting. I'm a scientist. And he said, oh, you, you don't look like a scientist. And I was really shocked. None of that makes much sense to me. It was all just really stereotypical and it didn't, I didn't really get it. So by the time the flight had landed in Aberdeen a couple of hours later, I'd come up with the idea that I, I really wanted to bring science and creativity together and give people the chance to sort of, yeah, show off their science in a creative way. I couldn't find anything that was just something as simple as a pin badge that said scientist on it. So I thought, right, okay, I'll make this. How do you make a pin badge? So I had to learn all those new skills of trying to find suppliers and how on earth you design something for a supplier to then take and make it real and all that kind of thing. And it was it was difficult because you don't order one pin, you order them in bulk. So I was like, okay, I'll do this and just see if anyone I know wants them. So the minimum order was 50 pins um, and they sold out within about a month and a half. So I knew that it wasn't just me that was sick of having the conversation and needing to be labeled. So for, for pin badges, I usually kind of have a bit of a doodle um, just on paper, like I'll just doodle stuff, um, pencil and paper and figure out sizes and stuff. And then I'll um, basically transfer that onto Illustrator. So, but more recently I've just been using my laptop, so that's, it's kind of easier to, to trace stuff um, that way. And then it gets sent to one of my suppliers um, and I give them details on like Pantone colors and exactly what finish I want. And then it gets sent away women in science particularly a lot of the time you have experiences where there might be like what you would call like a microaggression or something small where someone's saying like oh you don't really belong here they'll never say that verbally or they, they shouldn't say that verbally to your face but there's some little things like i once had a postdoc that said to me that i wore too much mascara and eyeliner to be in the lab it wasn't a massive shock that this guy had said that to me but it was a disappointment because i figured that we were further along in that in society um, clearly not the underlying message behind uh, Science on a Postcard is basically that scientists are not all very stale, old, white men. A lot of us are young women, um, a lot of us are, yeah, we like other things, we have other hobbies and we're fully rounded people and we're not just crazy Einstein lookalikes. I absolutely love um, making and designing stuff. You're able to hold it in your hand and say, I made this, um, which is a really satisfying feeling and it's a kind of quick win when science can so often be so slow. We want to basically set up a, a small public engagement grant so that people can um, get out into the public and talk about their science because I think that's part of the problem as to why we've got all these stereotypes and some students just can't afford to do that. Um, so yeah, we'll be hoping to try and get some small pots of money so that people can apply for them um, to come up with creative ways to communicate their own science. <laughs>